Convention fever grips Los Angeles. The only major threat to Kennedy's hopes is Senate Majority Leader Lyndon Johnson. Della gets to meet with Kennedy right now. Jack or Bob? Teddy. Christ, this place is infested. In a surprising upset, Senator John Kennedy has won the West... What? Hi, Jack. You mind if I ask you a question, Lyndon? You are out of your damn mind, Jack. All the liberals hate it. We need Southerners. There's just no power in the vice presidency. Power is where power goes. I'm guessing you Kennedys don't do a lot of deer hunting. John Kennedy has been elected president of the United States. I need to show a strong record on civil rights from the start. Maybe they might listen to a Southerner who's on our side. What makes you think he's on our side? Well, those Kennedys must really hate you. <laughs> those Harvard boys not going to tell us how to run the state of Georgia. You're going to lose the support of the people who've always had your back. This train is leaving the station. You can hop on it with me and try to slow the damn thing down. If I'm going to make a run in 68, I'm going to need people to like me. Shut the door. How could anybody not like him? We've got Martin Luther King writing letters from a jail cell. It's an embarrassment around the world. If you submit this bill now, it will never become law. What are we waiting for? A new leader has emerged. America has a Southern president. You don't waste any time, do you, Lyndon? Excuse me? Rather not have it than have it this way. Kennedy is a man of great ideas. Now the country needs a man who can deliver. There will be no compromise. This is about making President Kennedy's vision a reality. This will define your presidency. I can only hope. Hey, Vale here. Now, hundreds of movies come out every year, but very few are hits. Here are America's top five highest grossing movies, adjusted for inflation, according to box office Mojo. Okay, number one, Gone with the Wind. Released in 1939, is one of the world's first genuine blockbusters with a grand total of 1,786,074,500 dollars. Number two, Star Wars from 1977, the George Lucas space opera that launched a thousand action figures and almost as many sequels and prequels, still reigns supreme in the Star Wars universe with a total take of 1,574,577,200 dollars. Number three, The Sound of Music from 1965, The Hills Are Alive, with the sound of 1,258,951,900 dollars in domestic ticket sales. Number four, E.T. The Extraterrestrial, the biggest movies of 1982 is also the fourth biggest movies of all time, with a grand total of 1,253,992,300 dollars. Number five, Titanic from 1997. James Cameron's award-winning film took in 1,197,594,300 dollars during its theatrical run. So, do you think that it's valid that these films made that much money? Let me know in the comments below. See ya.